Hello everyone. To all the esteemed guests and fellow pro professionals, welcome to the highly anticipated Udu event at this prestigious conference. So today I'm going to talk about how we felicitated 1000 users in Udu for a mission to heal children globally with Cure International. So about Brainwire, so Brainwire is a company, a digital transformation company that is mostly strategic in product ideation and development and we are experts in making enterprise resource and enterprise solutions for the development. So we are globally located across US, UK, Canada, Middle East, Singapore, Netherlands and England. So Brainwire with around 21 plus years of experience, we are into automobile manufacturing, supply chain, logistics and a lot more. We are a team of around 1800 plus brainers and we have successful 2500 plus projects. We are partnered with Udu, Adobe Commerce, Microsoft, Amazon Web Services, SAP Salesforce. We have good recognition in um, Inc. 5000, which is America's fastest growing private company. And then we have 200 plus clutch reviews. Plus, we recently got awarded with uh, best customer satisfaction in Middle East region. So specifically talking about Udu proficiencies, um, we have our resources of around 350 plus resources and we have successful projects completed with 250 plus which are live and then we have complex integrations where we have focused on e-commerce, marketplace, fraud protection units, um, the, the funding and the insurance company integrations which, which actually currently the rate has is around 35 million plus transactions every day in Udu. We have a team of certified developers and functional consultants with all the versions of Udu from 13 to 16. <coughs> so good morning and good evening and good noon to everyone online and uh, here. So myself, Creamy, I am honored to present the, I'm honored to present this online version of the Cure International and um, to all the fellow enthusiasts of Udu, I, I am having seven plus years of experience and the remarkable journey that I have with Udu is like I was able to understand how Udu has done the transformation in various industries and business segments over the years. So talking about Cure International, so Cure International is a non-profit organization which has a network of around eight companies in Asia and Africa. So Cure is a headquartered company in Michigan, US, and then they are operating in Ethiopia, Malawi, Philippines, and, and the African countries. So the multi-company architecture here that it shows is like the hospital and the headquarters are in US, Michigan, which is the Cure holding side of it. And then we have different operations in Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda and these other hospitals in Africa. So today we are going to discuss on the key features, the functionality and the challenges that we faced in developing Udu and then implementing the right solution with the expected results. So mainly the challenges that we faced across in development was um, they they earlier without Udu, they had different systems with different operations. And then the order processing was very scattered, like the intercompany order processing, the sales purchase, the order management, uh, and then deliveries of all those uh, orders was difficult from the distribution center to all various African regions. So, so the wire transfer deduct, with, we, we developed a customized solution with wire transfer deduct and uh, uh, which, which can handle the country balances and checks how much, how much is incoming and wh what's there in the balance. Depending on that, we were able to succeed in the accounting side of it. So they had a decentralized human resource management as well. Just because um, the thousand employees, it are uh, more than over thousand employees, 
um, across all these African countries. So the human resource was like uh, they used bamboo, they used uh, ADP for different payroll management. So all this scattered uh, data, we gathered that into Udu and made sure that the human resource is nicely handled. Um, the approval hierarchy was uh, quite unsystematic with which um, whatever the approval requests were made, that requests were uh, not on time, the notifications, the response was not actually on time and the right person, even in absence of the person who is there in the approval cycle, in absence, there was no other replacement methodology which was set. And then the entire product management, the product master with um, handling all these um, medicines, all the equipments in the hospitals was quite scattered due to which uh, with Udu we were able to overcome. So this is one of the inventory and the procurement management workflow in which um, the requests are coming from hospitals. It goes through the purchasing department into the US, which is Michigan. And then um, the, the entire uh, transactions with w wire transfer uh, happens with which the request gets to the vendors. The vendors identify the shipping and determine the shipping plan. With that, the approval purchase, purchase approval is confirmed. And then it is submitted to the purchase order phase, which is, which is for, um, which is for the approval, the, uh, it, it gets reviewed and then it comes back after review, there is the shipment process which is done. The shipment is then sent. Um, they had their Asana system for ticket management. So with that ticket management, they used to have to create all the shipment tickets and uh, all the ex ledger journal entries were recorded into the accounting system. So with all this, um, they had different systems, different Excels, different platforms with, and different users to operate for different logins and different accounts. So with this, the entire inventory management and the procure, from procurement to the delivery for the hospitals was made simpler through Udu. Um, moving on, so with Udu, um, as I mentioned, multi-level approval. So with the, with the usage of multi-level approval, we use the native UDU approval module. In the native UDU approval module, we defined various hierarchies for approvals, for purchase, for um, inventory management, the journal entry processing, all these various first level, second level, third level approval we configured. And with that, the simpler uh, notification-based, scheduled activities-based approval cycle was prepared. Then um, we created a customized batch transfer process. So any request coming in from various hospitals, we had a customized batch transfer process in which the, the deliveries get batched out. And with those batch deliveries, uh, after the approval, it goes through the uh, shipment. Uh, Multi-company configuration is one of the key thing that we did, like various hospitals, like eight hospitals, and then the US as the Michigan headquarter. Um, we did those multi-company, like uh, hospitals requesting from, uh, from US, and then US assuring, acknowledging those requests, and after those acknowledgement, they, they make sure that the deliveries are handled. So, so that also goes through various donation letters, various certificate of confirmations, and that's how we, we configured the entire delivery and multi-company architecture. So, so we have rolled out with all these regions, Zambia, Ethiopia, Kenya, um, um, Africa, I mean, Philippines, and all these regions. So, so these rollout was also a quite um, time-taking, plus the trainings that we provided to the team was one of the factors that we had um, a tough time to deal with. So that is all about um, the improvements that was made through Odoo. These are some custom screenshots that, that we have in the system, like um, for, for the hierarchical of approval structure, like the threshold limits we set. We set first approval, second approval, third approval, 
and then based on those, um, the users get email notifications plus activities into the system as per whatever comes for requests. Uh, this is one of the screenshot for multi-company architecture, where again, um, the supervisor, the CEO, CFO, controllers, uh, the head of the departments, all those configurations are done, and what roles are for each user are defined over here. Um, then we have is the pre-approval procurement process. So before the procurement, there was a cycle of pre-approval in which we made sure that uh, the, the status of the approved uh, is, approver is, is mentioned. And then it's a custom process in which we made sure about how the procurement is gone correctly. And then there's a little screenshot here which mentions about the requests coming in. Um, the requests that are submitted, those ones which are approved and pending ones. Um, so some of the key features uh, that we did is like we replaced XLedger accounting with Udo. Uh, all various types of consolidation, accounting reports, and uh, all the intercompany scenarios within these um, accounting uh, from XLedger was replaced with Udo. Uh, then we have is centralized inventory distribution for hospital divisions, subdivisions, the sections, and dispensaries. So, so this is something that in which we had some custom thing, which which was the key thing for all these hospitals was like we made various hospital subdivisions, divisions, departments, and those kind of sections into the entire um, employee management through which the process goes smoother. And as I mentioned, like approval gone, has gone through various uh, product, product approvals, vendor approvals, uh, pre-approval, travel requests. So, so among all these hospitals and US, they had so many of domestic and international travels. So that we covered. Um, and then approval delegation is something where in replacement of people, uh, the, uh, the other approver can handle those requests. So wire transfer deduct is one of the process in which we made sure that the payments coming from hospitals are stored, the credits they are stored, and then whenever the requests are delivered, accordingly the balance gets deducted. And then we replaced Bamboo HRMS with Udo, and now Udo is handling all these thousand users um, within the same uh, infrastructure. So these are some tangible outcomes in which we, we have like 63% growth in the productivity. The users are now productive and they can make sure that the system is faster enough to handle all these transactions in quick minutes. Um, manual intervention was reduced. So we have 47% uh, 40, of reduction in the human intervention. And then um, we, we, the operational cost, the overall cost with the entire, all these systems, Bamboo, X-Ledger, and all these systems, like reduce the operational cost, which is up to 2x. And this is something amazing that we replace these systems with most limited number of um, operational costs. And then we have is 95% of automation um, a lot of excels got replaced, a lot of systems got replaced, the users became pro productive with which the automation was quicker and users are now happy about it. So um, as 1000 users, uh, HRMS entirely from um, the employee planning, the resource allocation, their time off, their requests, their attendance, everything is handled within the HRMS. And then um, we have unified and streamlined operations with, interna um, with great international capabilities to handle the African and Asian accounting and payroll. So this is the dashboard screen um, for, for the overall purchase that, that we have. Um, it's a standard Udo screen where where all the purchase, the procurement requests that came in and all the modules of the involved in, in the purchase and the delivery 
is covered like the overall orders the overall average uh, lead time the top rfqs all this is covered within this dashboard screen so here is our clientele with BrainWire. Like we have been working with Bay Alarm Medical since almost 70 plus years. And then these are some key clients like Cure International, which, uh, which is there. Um, so, so we have Isha Foundation, which is again a non-profit organization with which we have worked with. Ajmal Perfumes is like 250 plus stores, a POS stores implementation we have done. MBT Shoes is again a good, uh, good, good clientele where we have worked with um, almost eight plus countries and implemented uh, shoes uh, shoes business in their um, Singapore region. Um, and Super Asia is one from the Canada where we have worked with uh, the, the entire grocery market and um, supply chain business uh, into Canada. And this is one of the key, um, like our our uh, recent implementation with Cure Zambia, where our team, our team members had appeared uh, Zambia on site, and the U.S. and the Indian team went together, collaborated, and did this launch. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Let me know if you have questions. Thank you, uh, Krimi. It's a really yes. good presentation. Thank you. So I'd like to invite everyone as well that has a question to connect here at the pad to send questions to Krimi as well to everyone online as well that can send sure. you some questions. Krimi, so let's go to the first Definitely. question for yeah. this very interesting presentation as uh -huh. well. And the first one is, what is the main difference, Krimi, of an NGO implementation to other customers so um, the main difference is about the the policy that we have uh, for the invoicing for the billing and the accounting so this is something where um, the non-governmental and the non-profit organizations what they have is their revenue is based on the donations and those revenue uh, collection the donations and um, all all those accounting configurations are different because the rest of the customers have it based on the customer sales and the purchase that we make from the vendors so that is the donation management was the key thing that we had to look after that's an int interesting point, very complete yeah. as well. And Krimi, uh, regarding the approval process uh -huh. okay, uh, for vendor bills, how mm -hmm. it was the customization that it was done? Can you give more details? Sure. So it was a customization, plus we used the normal uh, approval module that Udu provides by out of box. So on the top of that, we, we did some threshold limit based customization. So if the, if the amount is within those threshold limits, then it goes to this person, otherwise the other person. So those kind of customization was required. Important customization, we yeah. can agree. And how about the batch transferred has helped in the supply chain operation? So batch transfer is something in which um, we, we made sure about all the deliveries being collected at a batch. So there was the tenure that we set and we batch it out. And, and based on that also we had some approval levels within those uh, batch transfer process. And that's how we made uh, those deliveries. That, that's good. And um, Krim, another question regarding, because it's a big implementation, a lot of people are using the system, right? Did you find any performance issue? How did you manage this perf the performance of this database? So performance issue is something um, here I would like to mention that we hosted this on Amazon Web Services. We did not uh, use uh, the standard Udo hosting. Uh, so the performance, like we um, we started with Amazon, and then the Amazon has the options to scale the performance, so to scale the database sizes and the server configurations. So we 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 optimize the code in a way that um, we have less performance issues even in future. And handling these thousand users is definitely going to be um, requiring uh, optimization, and uh, we we need to take care about those things. Very, very important as well. And one last question, Krimi. Uh, how many people from your team uh, had made part of this implementation? 
so uh, so the team members like um, the number of team members would be approximately 15 to 20 that uh, that were allocated full time on dedicated basis on um, so but then we we scale the resources based on the complexities and based on the dependencies that's amazing thank you very much Krimi thank, thank you. you everyone that joined this presentation thank you everyone that watched online thank, thank you. you everyone thank you everyone